Okay, so here's a better look at the tool. Sorry, I'm laying underneath this thing and I don't have a very good tripod. Uh, this hoop goes around your cross member up here. Just comes right down, meets with your block. You put these nuts on, tighten it all the way up, and then this goes in on the torsion bar key. And there's a little groove for it. I'll show you. This groove right here, that's where this point of the tool goes. So that wheel, you start screwing this in, that goes ahead and puts tension on it and allows you to unscrew this one, which is your torsion bar set screw. Now, I painted neon green on there so I can kind of, so it'll go on the threads and I can somewhat get it close in the beginning when I put the new key back in. Now this is a, called a three inch leveling kit. You can get up to three inches with it depending on how you adjust it. So I like to just get these and get it close, you know, spray paint it here and kind of keep it close to where it used to be. And then you can adjust from there once it sits on the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear into this one too and uh, we'll get it done. All right, let's get this one started now. Find where I threw all my stuff. Okay, roll this up over top, go across your cross member, hangs down like a horseshoe, bring the block up, extremely simple, run these nuts up, so I run this block up as far as it'll let me. And it's gonna pivot back and forth when you're tightening this, by the way. But it works fine. Like I said, I've already done the other side. And this is a really good tool. So this hoop is like a safety in case that torsion key comes apart. It's not gonna let it fling off. So that's really nice. It's a really nice device. And it came with the kit, and I'll get you a price on what I paid for it. All right, this is a three quarter inch here. Just so make sure you're in this groove that I showed you earlier right there. Make sure you're in that. When you're in that, start cranking on it, get some tension off of it. Now when this rattles loose like so, you know that all your tension's on your new tool. You gotta run this up high enough to get this set block out. Might take you a few tries to get it just right. Now, everything is on this here. So, what we're gonna do is just lower this down take it off and then we'll slide the new key in. Getting this torsion bar to slide forward is the biggest pain. I'll show you that too. Just be really careful. I like to stand back away just in case. It starts to ease down. Go down really slow with it. Now, spin this freely. You know you're good. All the weight's off. Now it's time to get our torsion bar and slide it out. Hope you're stouter than I am when you do this. 
Man, this is rough. Come on, go to your home. You too good for your home? Oh. Oh. And it's in there. So now you gotta run your adjustment bolt. Now, sneeze off your tool. Let the torsion bar retainer take over. Okay, and we're done. Time to put the wheels on and clean up.